Hello, everybody. Hello, and welcome back to I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. This is Decadence Night. Um, first of all, I must apologize for my extended absence. Um, to make a long story short, I had uh, quite a few technical difficulties, um, followed by a bout of uh, an extended bout of the flu, and then followed by a, a uh, two-week trip overseas. So... It's been a little while, been a little while since I've recorded anything, um, but I'm back. Just wanted to let you know that I haven't died or anything like that. So, um, we're playing as Ellen here still. We just shut down the pyramid. We, you know, we've locked down the island. And, um, now it's time to figure out what we're gonna do next. Um, my first instinct is to go back and talk to the, uh, the AI guy again. You know, he was the one who basically led us to shut down the pyramid in the first place. Well, to, well, he he made us um, start up the Armageddon software, which then locked down the pyramid. So I'm going to try talking to him again. Let's use the translator, see if he's got anything to add now that that's done. Hey, computer innocence, whoever you are, I need to talk to you not responding well I guess that's not it and you also may notice a couple of changes when it comes to the video and the audio that's because um, the game was updated to a new uh, well not to a new but to a different engine which is what caused many of my technical difficulties but looks a little different sounds a little different same game though less glitches I will say that so that is a positive I did have to start over from the beginning, though, which was a kind of a pain. Ah, oh, well, hmm. Maybe I can try talking to Anubis. He's the only other thing that I can talk to around here. See if he can tell me anything. Hey, what do you know? I'm sealed in, Anubis. Any ideas about how I can check out of this hotel? Inside the sarcophagus, paradise awaits. It is not the afterlife. Merely a brief respite from your torments. That is your reward for facing your fears. Well, that would be a nice reward. A, a, a respite from her tortures. Although seeing as this is Am's world, I don't really buy that. I mean, he was bullshitting us before. Well, let's use the sarcophagus anyway. It's our only lead. You ain't got no choice, Ellen girl. It's got to be the way. Enough of this turgid passion play. There's no more to accomplish here. Oh. Hmm. Well, apparently you've managed to access some small aspect of my system that I was unaware of. <laughs> Gonna have to think on this. I'll have to ponder carefully the implications of your discovery. In the meantime, let me celebrate your rekindled technical skills. Who among you shall go next? Oh, well, came over for Ellen. Nice, we just won. Well, again, the ending kind of came out of nowhere for me, but I guess it makes sense. I mean, she faced her fears and she discovered some um, unknown subsystem of Am, so we fucked with him. And he, he can no longer torture her because he, he, he because, well, sh because she, rather, uh, she faced her fear. She confronted her attacker. Nice. Nice ending. Well, we're only like five minutes into this episode, so I'd say we just continue on. Let's, let's go ahead and get the next character started. See what this guy's all about. Benny, you know, you've always been my favorite torture tool. Well, I'm giving you now. A chance to stoop to new lows, to give in to your uh, bestial desires. I'm going to let you find some food to eat. <sighs> I'll even repair your brain so that you can think normally again and savor the horror of your repast. Well, how nice of him. This cavern isn't like any of the others Am has sent me to. It's full of life, not death. All right, well, we're in some kind of big cave. And there's some little caves over there. Oh, there's a light over there. Here, let's just start by looking at stuff. An artificial sun hurts my eyes. Ah, it's an artificial... Hmm, he says it's an artificial sun? Well, it could just be a 
a big halogen light. Is that fire in those caves along the cavern wall? God, what I would give for some barbecued ribs. That does sound pretty good. All right, well, let's see. Oh, let's go to the top of the stairs. Let's see, walk to... Top of the stairs. Oh, God. Am you son of a bitch. You've cleared my mind, but crippled my legs. I can barely walk. Well, that sucks. All right. This looks like a tree from far away, but it's just more of that computer-generated crap. Oh, well, that's interesting. All right, let's walk to the caves. I haven't eaten for months. The smell of food cooking nearby only makes it hurt worse. Well, let's see. We got some got some baskets up here, some twine. Let's see. Can I use Why right here? Let's let's look at the baskets first. Some of the twine around the baskets came loose. Okay, I I meant to look at the basket. Look at the basket. I'll bet those baskets are full of food. Well, what do you know? Let's get some food. Let's use the twine. I can't shake any fruit loose from the baskets. Well, pull harder. Well, he is crippled, but I mean, come on. It's not, doesn't look that difficult. Hmm, all right, so should we explore the caves first or keep walking around? Ah, let's explore the caves. Let's see, let's walk to this cave over here. Looks like it's empty. A video screen, fireplace, vines, a cradle. Hey, let's look at the cradle. Looks like a primitive cradle. It's empty. I wonder where the baby is. Jesus, I'm hungry. Oh, was he just... Did he just imply what I think he implied? Oh, I'm not even gonna go there. I, th or, I think he just said that if there was a baby there, he would have eaten it. There's a video screen built into the cave wall. Okay, can I use the screen? Your stomach scratching. Hungry, Benny. Wait for the picnic at the altar. Yeah, you're too weak to kill the older ones, unless they're already tied up for you. Who loves you, baby? Well, obviously not you, you bastard. It's damp in here. At least the fire's warm. Hmm. Well, that's nice. Okay, let's take a look at the vines. Vines? I wonder if they're edible. My guess would be not. Let's see if I can take them anyway. It's not just built into the wall. It's part of the wall. Oh, okay, so I can't take it. Okay, can I just try to swallow some? No, better not. I think I'll try to find some real food first. All right, let's walk to the next cave. Impressive. Someone important must live here. Hmm, okay. Ah, Elder. Let's talk to the Elder. What's up, old man? Wita Fuma Piba. I can't understand his language, but he seems to be welcoming me to the village. Ah, well, isn't that nice? We got a bag. bag. Maybe there's food in it. Okay, let's open the bag. Can we use the bag? I can't figure out what I want to do with this. You want to open the bag. There might be food in there. Okay, can I take the bag? I wouldn't know what to do with this even if I could take it. You could open it and see if there's food there. Okay, can I push the bag? Forget it. Too painful. Oh, God, whatever. All right. Can I use this video screen? Is it going to say something different? Hey, ignore the newcomer. Gather the villagers at the altar tomorrow to choose a sacrifice. I have spoken. Well, I am is playing God with some more people. All right, let's walk out the cave and explore the next one. This looks like a, what did they used to call them? Single parent household. Probably depend upon the generosity of the rest of the village. Friggin' welfare parasites. God! Asshole? Jesus. Okay, so we've gone from potential baby eater to, ah, oh, whatever the hell that was. All right, let's try talking to the single mother who this guy detests for no reason. That son of a bitch am ripped out my vocal cords years ago. No, oh, I guess I can't. Ooh, food. Look at the food. What's cooking in this pot? Hmm. 
Not well, can I take well, I'm not gonna take the pot of food. It's probably pretty hot. Uh, let's see. Can I talk that to the son of child? No, of course not. Alright, let's look at the video screen. This video screen has been tampered with. There are wires hanging out of it. Oh, okay then. Well, let's try using it. No, I can't do that. This There's a hole. Like a good hiding place. Okay, can I use it? There's nothing in the hole. Well, okay then. Bed. Check that out. Made out of vines. Looks comfortable enough. Can I go to sleep in the bed? I'm too hungry to sleep. Okay, he's too hungry to sleep. Okay then. All right. I don't think there's anything else here to look at. Let's see. Okay, one more cave. Let's take a look at that. It's a goddamn supermarket. Ooh, food. Looks like there's. Looks like it's being guarded though. Put that by number. Clap. Blondie here won't let me near the food. Blondie? It looks pretty bald to me. This guard looks a lot stronger than me, but not too bright. Okay. Primitive. These people are even more backwards than those gooks in Southeast Asia. Oh, racist on top of it. That's nice. Primitive. God, I thought Gorister was a dick. This guy makes Gorister look like a saint. All right, let's walk out of here. See, looks like there's another cave mouth up there. Oh, it's not giving me a highlight though. Maybe I need to go up it. But his legs are crippled, so it's not gonna let me. All right, let's walk to the path, see what we got over here. A fruit tree. It's been years since I've tasted real fruit. M once coaxed me into marching across a thousand miles of ice to reach a stockpile of canned peaches, only to discover that he didn't give me a can opener. Well, there's, you know, there's more than one way to skin a cat. Pretty sure there's more than one way to open a can. Ah, oh, whatever. Still, that sucks. Alright, let's take the fruit. Alright, we got some fruit. Let's swallow the fruit. Hurts! 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 Oh, what? Oh, what? What? Oh, whatever. God damn it. For some reason, he can't eat the food. Can we look at the fruit? I coughed up blood the last time I bit into this fruit. Well, why did you do that? There's so much fruit growing on this tree. Hmm. It must be the village's food source. All right, well, the villagers are able to eat it. So it's not like, it's not toxic or anything like that. All right, let's leave this area. There's still another area down this way. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Looks like some kind of altar. Hey, now this looks familiar. Um, this was on one of the video screens. In, um, in Ellen's chapter, there was a, there was a bunch of room with video screens. This, this screen was on it. Interesting, okay. Nothing but twisted wiring and recycled plastic. What's with the ropes on the cross beams? Looks like they're used for holding someone captive. It's a sacrificial altar. Am is demanding sacrifices from the village. That's just wonderful. Alright, let's get out of here. Walk to the path. Okay, if I remember right, there was another path back this way. So let's go back and see what that's all about. This graveyard gives me the creeps. Oh. I feel as though the dead could speak. Okay, well, even though you don't have any vocal cords, let's try talking to the grave. I guess I haven't given you any reason to speak to me after what I did to you. Okay, if I look at it, does this... This is the grave of Murphy, one of my old commandos, killed in the war. Hmm, okay. This is Tuttle's grave. He lost his life while under my command. Okay, can I try talking to Tuttle? Are the other graves as deathly silent as this one? Okay, let's look at the last one. Thomas is buried here. I'd almost forgotten my life in the army before Am came to power. Hmm, okay then. Let's see. Uh, can I try talking to Thomas? The other graves as deathly silent as this one? Well, apparently so. Alright, let's see. We got a fence over here. Why is this fence here? What's out there in the jungle? Maybe something to eat. Well, I'm obviously not going to be able to push it down or climb it in this condition that he's in. Okay, we got more vines. Uh, there's not, not much here. 
Okay, let's see what we can figure out. While there is the psych profile still, let's see. Let's let's see. We let's see what we see. All right, cultural reference. According to the New Testament, Jesus thought that it was more blessed to give than to receive. Ah, his parable of the Good Samaritan further illustrated the goodness of people who went out of their way to perform acts of kindness to others, especially strangers. Okay, well, it's kind of an obvious hint. It's telling me that I need to do something for somebody else. I need to do a good deed, basically. And it's better to give than to receive, so what do I have to give? Well, we got some fruit. Some respawning fruit. All right, well, let's take it. Nice. Okay, and let's give the fruit to somebody. Let's see if that accomplishes something. Um... I know Benny probably wouldn't because he's an asshole, but the first person that I'd give it to is probably the kid. All right. The boy's a friggin' mutant. There's a third arm growing out of his back. Oh, I thought there was something weird about him. Jeez. All right, well, let's give the fruit to the mutant child. To the child. Oh, thank you for food. Nice. Hey, and I can actually talk to him. I thought he didn't have any vocal cords. You look like you don't eat very much. Mother and I are not allowed in Food Cave. Villagers are afraid of me and let me starve. Oh, well, that's kind of horrible. And this is a good question. How are we able to talk? I learned to talk using am screen. I am smart, but villagers think smart is defective. I wish I were strong, so then they would give me food too. Defective? That's tough. Sometimes, but I am spared lottery. Villagers are afraid of me. Oh, well, at least you won't be sacrificed. What do you mean, what lottery? Isn't it obvious? Lottery? What lottery? Villagers hold lottery to choose sacrifices to Am. Um, yes? Do I really need to ask, ask that? Let's see. Oh, that's, that's good. How long have these sacrifices been going on? The sacrifice to Am machine goes on many long years. The very different must go to him soon. Not many villagers left. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, so far it's just the elder, the mutant child, his mother, and some... some guard. Let's see. Is that altar in the jungle used for the sacrifices? Yes. Pieces of victim are scattered around it. Oh, well, that's... that's... disgusting. Why do they sacrifice their own people to Am? One is sacrificed, so Am does not hurt all. Oh, bullshit. Like, <laughs> yeah, right. So if you don't sacrifice somebody, he's just going to wipe out the whole village? Come on. No, he wants to watch people suffer. He's not just going to wipe everybody out at once. That's no fun. What are these sacrifices like? The sacrifice to Am hurts very bad. There are better ways to die. Almost any way is better. Are the victims buried in the graveyard? I know nothing about graveyard. Okay. I am very hungry. Where can I get some food? There is fruit in Food Cave. It comes from the trees. I tried eating the fruit. It only made me sick. You bleed when you eat. When I was young and not so different, my mother chewed it for me first and then fed me. Okay, so I guess I need to... I guess I need to, like, grind the fruit down or maybe cook it first or... Get someone to chew it for me, or something like that. I need to go find some food. I'll see you later. Okay, well, this is as good of a place as any to stop for now. Um, we just began Benny's first, the first portion of Benny's chapter. Um, you know, in this mysterious village where they make ritual sacrifices to Am, and I can't eat any of the food because for some reason it makes me bleed, but... I'm sure we'll figure all that out in time. Uh, this has been Decadence Night playing I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. And I will see you guys later.